Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series videos of hydraulics and pneumatics. I'm Jay Yogesh Kumar, Assistant Professor of Mechanical Engineering in SMS College of Engineering. So before going to uh, today's uh, uh, session, I would uh, like to share the previous uh, lecture series video. So in the previous lecture series video, uh, we have discussed about the construction and working of uh, various types of actuators, like linear actuators and uh, rotary actuators. So in the linear actuators, we have discussed uh, uh, single acting and double acting cylinders and various configurations of uh, single acting, double acting cylinders and special linear cylinders like telescopic cylinder, double piston cylinder, everything we have discussed. So under uh, rotary actuator, uh, we have discussed about uh, linear uh, gear uh, act gear motor, then vane motor and piston motor. So various classifications of gear motor, vane motor, piston motors, everything we have discussed. So uh, in initial uh, lecture series video, we have discussed about the fundamentals of hydraulics and pneumatics and how to create a uh, linear motion and uh, rotary motion by using a hydraulic force. So coming to this, in, in this lecture series video, we are going to discuss about the various control functions that can be uh, formed in the hydraulic system. So these control functions are uh, enabled with the help of uh, valves that is called the control valves. So these control valves are used to control the various parameters of the fluids, so which can be given from the motor, I mean pump. So, so objective of this lecture series video, uh, we are going to discuss about what are all the control functions that can be performed in the hydraulics. <clears throat> so the primary control functions that can be used in the hydraulic system can be categorized into uh, three types. So we are going to use uh, valves. So those control valves, those valves can be categorized into three types. The first type is pressure control. Second type is direction control. And third type is flow control. So these uh, three parameters of the fluid we are going to control in the hydraulic system and thereby we can get the many uh, advantages and applications. So first we will discuss about the pressure control. So the pressure control, uh, we know that the pressure is nothing but is the force applied uh, per unit area. So force here we are using a hydraulic uh, oil pressurized oil. So the force exerted by the oil per unit area is called the pressure of the fluid. So uh, we know that the pressure is directly proportional with the force because force pressure is equal to force by area. And the pressure is inversely proportional with the area. So by controlling the pressure, we can directly control the force. So once the fluid is pressurized and it is sent it to the actuator, maybe a linear actuator or rotary actuator, it exhibits, exhibits force on the piston or any moving part of the actuator. So by controlling the pressure, pressure the force, force created in the actuator, linear actuator, or in rotary, we can say torque. Torque created by the hydraulic motor can be controlled. So these are all the various uh, necessity to control the pressure for the required applications. One is to protect the system from the damage due to the excessive pressure. So uh, because of various uh, reasons, uh, say for example, due to the blockage in the hydraulic tube, uh, there may be of chance of uh, developing the excessive pressure. So this excessive pressure exceeds the safety limits of the tube or forces 
which may cause explosion uh, or uh, uh, bursting of tube will take place. So, in order to protect the system from the excessive pressure, we may use a pressure relief valve to relieve the excessive pressure so that we can ensure that uh, the uh, system uh, will operate under the safety pressure. The second thing is uh, sequence motion. So uh, this is specifically useful for uh, multiple cylinder applications. So if we go for uh, more than one cylinder, so which cylinder has to be actuated first so that can be used for the, uh, that sequence of the motion of the cylinders can be controlled with the help of uh, sequence valve. So the sequence valve which comes under pressure control. Then the third purpose is to limit the pressure in the selected sections of the circuit. For example, we are using two cylinders or more than two cylinders. One cylinder is used for uh, uh, folding application and another cylinder is used for uh, some other machining applications. So uh, one may require uh, very less force and another may be required a very high force. So since the pump is able to generate only a constant pressure, we cannot give uh, constant uh, uh, pressurized fluid over these cylinders. So the pressure may be reduced suitably according to the selected uh, sections of the cylinder. So to limit the pressure for the selected sections of the circuit, we may use pressure reducing valve. So uh, this I hope this illustration is visible to you. Uh, this uh, photograph explains uh, the usage of uh, pressure control valve for the hydraulic application. So here, uh, you may witness the pressure relief valve it is used in the system. So this entire setup is called a hydraulic power pack. Uh, in that we have a reservoir, then pump, pump is connected with the prime mover. To run the pump, we need a prime mover. Usually, uh, which is an electric motor can be used as a prime mover. And this is called a prime pressure relief valve. So when there is an excessive pressure developing in circuit, this pressure relief valve relieves the uh, excessive pressure and that fluid is bypassed to the reservoir. So this is how the uh, safety of the circuit can be ensured with the help of pressure relief valve. And the second function is direction control valve, which is used to direct the fluid to establish the control of the actuator. Uh, control in the sense, the direction of the actuator. So for example, if we take a single acting cylinder, the cylinder may be extended or retracted uh, for multiple times to perform a specific task. So the extension and retraction of the cylinder can be done by supplying the pressurized fluid suitably to the uh, either piston end or rod end. So this can be achieved with the help of direction control valve. So there are many uh, configurations are available for the direction control valve. Uh, we'll discuss the upcoming lecture series. But uh, this direction control valve ensures the direction of an action. Uh, for linear actuator, extension and retraction can be controlled. For rotary actuator, the direction of rotation, that is clockwise or counterclockwise direction of rotation, can be controlled with the help of uh, direction control valve. Then the third uh, is a flow control valve. So the flow control valve ensures flow, controlling of flow rate of a uh, hydraulic fluid. So, uh, so we know that uh, the velocity of the actuator is depends upon the flow rate of the fluid. So by controlling the flow rate, we can control the velocity of the actuator if it is a linear. If it is a rotary hydraulic motor, the speed of the motor can be controlled by controlling the flow rate of the hydraulic oil. So uh, it provides to make, uh, it provides to vary the flow rate. So there are a lot of methods are available to control the flow rate Let's say, for example, the area of opening. By controlling, by uh, changing the area of opening, we 
can control the uh, flow rate. So some other methods are there that we will discuss on the uh, upcoming lecture series. Please. And this is the uh, photograph that which is taken in the industry, which explains uh, the usage of flow control valve. So here you can witness the flow control valve, which is provided with the uh, controlling mechanisms like the lever, maybe a lever operator, or it may be a rotary wheel operator. Sometimes it may be a solenoid operator. Depending upon the application, we may use the, the valve. We usually it is connected uh, the circuit after the pump uh, to control the flow rate uh, before the hatch rate. And these are all the references for this lecture series video. Uh, the reference books are one is uh, Fluid Power by Anthony Esposito, published by Pearson then in the New Delhi in the year of 2003. And the second book is Fluid Mechanics and Hydraulic Machines by R.K. Bansar, published by Lakshmi Publications in Delhi in the year of 2021. So I hope uh, this uh, lecture series video is good for you. We have discussed the uh, primary control functions of the fluid. In the upcoming video, we will discuss the detailed, uh, we will make a detailed discussion on the, uh, each one of the cases. Thank you.